They've destroyed uh, thousand-year-old temples. They've destroyed Christian churches. I've personally walked through some of those churches. And, you know, it just goes to show they have absolutely no respect for life, for civilization, or for anybody else. No, and Chuck, uh, what's important to remember, too, is this is a mosque. And so everybody thinks, oh, ISIS just, just targets Jews and Christians. They tar target Muslims who don't believe in their radical way of thinking. And they will take out an 800-year-old mosque to stick it to them just as much as they would Christians or Jews. Right. This is, this is a last-ditch effort on the part of ISIS to call Muslims to fight against uh, the, the infidels. You know, uh, They took this down, tried to blame it on the United States so that they could uh, hopefully uh, motivate some other people to come and join their fight. But uh, it was very clear that it was they, they themselves that took down the mosque. But, y you know, Grant, there's a bigger challenge. This, this is sort of the, the beginning of the end for ISIS in that area, in that region. And they're being defeated all across Iraq and Syria right now. But once they're gone, that doesn't mean the fighting ends, because Iran has major designs on this area. They're trying to, they have been for, for many years trying to establish what, what they call a Sunni crescent from Tehran all the way to Lebanon. That is a, a supply line where they can supply Hezbollah uh, in, in Lebanon and fight uh, Israel over there. And this is a huge part of that plan. So they, these provisional military units that have been helping to defeat ISIS uh, throughout Mosul uh, are going, are, they're planning to stay there and they are being commanded by the commander, Suleiman, of uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. And he is there in Iraq right now. This is 60,000 fighters loyal to Iran who will still be in that region when ISIS is gone. So when the Iraqis uh, finish paying the price to, to liberate Mosul, they're going to have to contend with these provisional military uh, uh, units loyal to Iran. And that's going to be a continued fight, I believe.